Hello everyone. My name is Fiski. I'm a German cat boy working in a cat cafe, which you can see just right behind me. And today I'm gonna take you on a very cozy, cozy journey down a very specific rabbit hole, which is called VTubing. <laughs> I will show you a bit the uh, amazing world that is, um, yes, the, well, rabbit hole that's called VTubing. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you a bit of an insight about what our community is, what our subculture is, and of course, um, what we can learn about it when it comes to the topic of boys' love, girls' love, and uh, yeah, um, our main topic of today's convention. Um, so, <laughs> technical stuff seems to work. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, first question of the day. Who of you, who of you? has seen or heard of VTubers before. Let me let me uh, know in the chat because I'm kind of curious on, yeah, uh, who in here already knows about it a little bit or to whom might this be quite quite new. Mm. I've already seen in the Discord that there are a few fans of uh, uh, yeah, Holostars and other VTubers in there. <laughs> so I guess the, a few people know already. I know, that's good, that's good. Oh, a whole infinite there. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Christ in the rabbit hole. Shame. No, it doesn't need to be shameful. However, however, well, we are all in this rabbit hole together. And I do believe more and more people will fall into this. So we can just uh, enjoy our time down here. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let me properly introduce myself a little bit. My name is Hiski. I'm a German cat boy working at a cat cafe and um, I'm bisexual. So I also do focus a bit on uh, boy stuff content um, in the stuff I'm doing. Uh, most VTubers usually stream or make content on, on YouTube. Uh, that's what we do. Um, so uh, let's start maybe a little bit the basics first to those who might not have encountered VTubing yet, uh, who uh, think of this as a rather new phenomenon, which is which is kind of is, I would say. <laughs> I think it's just about to catch on and gain more um, traction lately. So there, it makes a lot of sense to introduce this properly. Um, so what is a VTuber? What is a VTuber? Um, as you can see me right here, this little anime cat boy, wee, <laughs> I'm bumping around on your screen. Um, well. VTubing is kind of content creating um, with a, a 2D or sometimes a 3D avatar. So instead of using a webcam like most streamers or VTubers or no, YouTubers do nowadays, um, you uh, use a 2D or 3D version of yourself um, and you animate it through uh, face recognition software. So there's actually a living, breathing person behind this, um, like in this 2D room. Like, of course, of course, there's, there's nothing 3D here. It's all, all 2D. <laughs> ah. The cake is a lie. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, let me let me briefly also introduce um, featuring not only it in itself in the technical part, but also in the community. Because um, as a community, I guess it's relatively new. Um, I mean, VTubing has been around since Kizuna I in 2016, but mostly been a thing that, well, has been an active uh, or has had an active community in Japan. Uh, all the good stuff comes from Japan, naturally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whee! Well, so indeed, it is um, a very new community. Um, it has gained more traction uh, last year in the English speaking community and over here in Germany, uh, as <laughs> I'm a German cat boy, um, it's uh, started gaining traction a lot by the beginning of this year. Um, but however, in the international um, context, um, yeah, things became very growing rapidly and quickly over the past last year or so, um, with especially um, big agencies from Japan uh, releasing English speaking VTubers who well gained a lot of popularity in a very, very short time, like millions of followers on, on YouTube and uh, a big, big um, yeah, fan base. And I mean, maybe you've heard of uh, Holo Life or the Holo EN girls so far, or maybe even more of the, about the Holo Stars, which is the uh, uh, male <laughs> Japanese branch of, from Holo Life. Very, very 
delicious, very pretty boys are part of the squad. Hi, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so, um, but not only the is there like a professional content um, or content makers, there's also a very, very big and diverse um, indie community. There are by now thousands, literally thousands of YouTubers uh, who have debuted by uh, or started making content over the past year or so. Um, and it is, is rapidly growing and even getting more and more diverse with each day. So uh, we are kind of, kind of at the start and beginning of something very exciting uh, still. And I think 2021 will be a very exciting year for this community. And um, so expect to see people like me, <laughs> um, maybe more often, maybe especially at online conventions, but maybe also even at physical conventions. I think uh, Door Phenomenon has kind of uh, come to stay around. Hopefully, hopefully because it's a lot of fun. So, <laughs> so, but but why would I be talking about um, VTubing today, now at FujiCon? Again, huge thanks for uh, giving us the opportunity to present <laughs> our adorable little community to you a little bit. Um, well, what I do think is very, very unique about this. Um, it's an opportunity to freely express yourself the way you want. Um, it is Basically, there are no limits in VTubing. You can absolutely be whoever and whatever you want. Um, I choose to be a cat boy, well, because I'm kind of a cat boy also in real life. <laughs> Honestly, uh, you would be surprised how little I actually changed <laughs> between my VTuber avatar and um, uh, yes, my, my personal life um, behind the camera, so to say. Um, <laughs> also, uh, Kind of, if you're appearing a little bit gay around here, well, that's just because I am also that way in real life. <laughs> Not gonna fool anyone here. So, <laughs> so, but in, indeed, you can you can be a cat boy, you can be a cat girl if you want, but um, it doesn't stop you from there. If you want to be a, a burp, a crocodile, um, a muscular man, a feminine woman, or like whatever you want, you can be it. You can be a animated bread of toast or. And this is actually something that that has already uh, been done. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> want to cosplay physically for Photoshop? Please do. Cosplays are very, very appreciated. All kinds of fanas are, but we'll go a bit more into that later on, um, as it's part of our panel. <laughs> um, so it's an amazing way to express yourself. For example, if you if you're trans, for example, hey, why not um, express yourself through VTubing? It's, uh, might, it might solve a lot of problems that you might have um, in real life at, at some point yet. And um, so VTubing brings you a lot of freedom and a lot of creative ways to express yourselves. If you want to be like a cute cat boy Uke like me or uh, like a giant moth demon lady who apparently also exists. So <laughs> this brings a lot of new freedom and a lot of possibilities with itself. So which I want to explore today and tonight together with you, because I think this is an exciting topic, especially, especially for our boys love or uh, um, let's say queer themed <laughs> um, uh, on a convention. By the way, of course, um, one um, character that the um, overall community really, really left us a great impression on my side was that it's very open-minded, very inclusive, very wholesome, and that even as, or especially as a, as a queer person like myself, um, you're absolutely welcome there. So you don't have to fear any kind of reprehension if you are like into boys love or girls love, or if you are um, bisexual, gay, transgender, whatever you are, um, you will find friends and people and um, yeah, mutuals uh, in this community. I, I almost can promise you that. <laughs> Hi, this guy has been reading my diary. <laughs> Juniper, <laughs> yes, she's amazing. And indeed the community is very wholesome. So this is one of the reasons I um, why I kind of promoted a little bit lately um, because it has really brought me personally through a dark time. And um, hence, I like to see it grow, flourish, and evolve even further. Um, so 
we are at the beginning of a new subculture in development um, with a lot of potential in um, creating stuff and also creating new stuff that hasn't been done before. So let's let's explore a bit the possibilities that come with VTubing. So um, uh, if you, by the way, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the chat. I will try to um, answer them later on in a, uh, yeah, <laughs> silly details and questions round. <laughs> Um, so uh, I will focus on that uh, at the end of the panel, but also I will try to um, answer short questions about the topic uh, in between whenever I can. <laughs> so um, the possibilities that to bring voice of content on the next level, which is kind of the main topic of uh, our stream today, or like this panel, um, like the very core basic of um, what this medium brings to you or to us, I would say, is that you have now the possibility to actually become the anime character. I mean, as Fujicon uh, organizers or, or uh, visitors, you mostly will have already contributed or participated in some kind of fan art activity, be it um, yeah, traditional illustration fan arts, fan fictions, uh, role plays, uh, cosplays. Um, so. I'm pretty sure most of you will have en engulfed in any kind of those activities or maybe something else, drawing Dojinchi. Um, and for me, VTubing is kind of the next step from cosplay and fan fiction. You kind of bring a character to life and not even, not even a character from another medium that you already, that someone else thought of. You can bring your own character or characters to life, which I find is absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, by the way, um, I was also quickly answer the question that uh, Pokito Taku uh, threw in. Did you make a, uh, yourself your VTuber avatar? What software did you uh, to animate it? Um, my avatar has been animated in Life 2D, and uh, as I cannot draw, <laughs> um, or as I also not very good at uh, animation myself, um, I commissioned it. There's a lot, a big market by now for artists who um, take on commissions um, for v uh, creating VTubers. And uh, so first of all, you need like a, an illustration that's being separated in very many different parts so that these different parts can get animated in Live 2D later on. You can also use um, 3D programs, like for example, um, uh, V-Rail Studio, which offers also a lot of free um, uh, possibilities to create an avatar. I might maybe go into this a bit later um, in more detail because uh, I'm not so um, good with the technical stuff. I usually commission the stuff I um, would like to get for my avatar. But uh, yeah, that's basically the programs uh, that have been used to create me, Fisky, over here. <laughs> um, and where do you find the artists? Twitter is a good source. Um, there are, uh, for, there's for example, the live 2D Discord server, um, there's the Iron Vortex team or Iron, Iron Vortex team. I will send out some credits and some um, links later on, maybe at the end of the presentation. So step one, you can become the anime character. You cannot just, uh, you have the opportunity to not just consume um, like linear media, like anime, movie, movies, manga, or series or doujinshi, you can actually start creating yourself um, this way, which I find very, very exciting. Um, let's start with the basics. So um, fan-made content is in, in VTubing is as prominent as you will know it all from, also, from other kinds of fandoms as well. Be it, uh, yeah, um, anime and movies, for example, uh, or manga or webtoons. So anything that has been done there you will also find a VTuber community, even though it's still very new. And I personally haven't found many fan fictions yet. However, that, that might change <laughs> over the next couple of weeks and months. And probably I've just not searched enough yet. I'm pretty sure that there will be fan fictions of VTubers already out there. <laughs> um, artworks, of course, fan arts, of course, Dojinji, of course. And, um, oh. <laughs> All right, this is a OBS uh, stream. So um, if anyone follows my social media, uh, we get notified here as well. Thank you. <laughs> it's very appreciated. And 
Hence, of course, shipping is also quite prevailing in the VTuber community, like in all the other fandoms too. Um, let, let me switch over the scene right now to show you some stuff, uh, pop up as we are still talking about the VTuber community as a whole. Boop. Boop. Switchy. Woo. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. So you can see, um, for example, oh, and a lot of VTubers right here, um, uh, which we uh, who are performed at Digicomi, another online convention a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we are, for example, um, shipping among VTubers quite frequently already. I mean, mostly among the, the big uh, agency VTubers. Like, for example, you can see the orange girl here in the middle, Kiara Takanashi. Uh, who, for example, also gets shipped a lot with uh, Mori Kariope, who is also a um, another uh, Holoen VTuber. And I uh, attack yeah, them so previously. They have a lot of fans already. So quite a good example, in my opinion, for how the um, fandom activities have already progressed. And damn, they have progressed a lot over the past uh, months already. Mind you, mind you, that, for example, the Holoen um girls uh, around yeah Chiara and Mori and um, all the others started out just last September. So um, it's amazing how quickly the fandom has grown over the past months. It's just basically nine months ago, right? So that's uh, that's really amazing what's going on here. I might uh, switch off the um, alerts door so it doesn't get uh, distractive. Sorry about that. <laughs> However, I do appreciate Every, every follow and uh, everyone who joins the Catboy Squad, as we call ourselves, <laughs> um, very, very much. Mm. <laughs> um, wait, uh, back to my list, back to my list. So, um, yeah, uh, shipping is prevailing already. And we would get, of course, I mean, it's, it's part of our culture, right? So that's, uh, it makes sense. Um, and also, there's actually, you might ask, well, what kind of shipping? Like the um, wholesome shipping or like naughty shipping? <laughs> well, actually, there's a big difference or um, differentiation in, within the VTuber community under the term say so or not say so. Um, you know, every subculture has their own terminology for uh, stuff like, for example, take our community, we have got um, uh, terms like Uke and Seme <laughs> or Yaoi and Yuri, for example. Oh, and by the way, I'm Obviously, an uka. I, I'm a, an uka made out of. I, I totally an uka out of pa a passion. I, I love being uka. It's the best. It's, it's a life choice. <laughs> um, so, in VTubing, in the VTubing community, um, whether a VTuber is um, kind of okay with or um, promoting uh, loot content or not, is whether or not he is he or she is say so. Or not say so kind of means um, clean um, if you directly translate it and video context it kind of always gets to um, gets promoted as a VTuber who says so who is mostly wholesome so uh, he might not retweet um, any lewd fan arts or or promote it um, uh, and those who who are not say so um, are usually okay with that and also uh, don't mind it or maybe even encourage it. Yeah, both is possible. <laughs> so if you um, are curious about if your favorite VTuber is uh, okay with uh, not safe for work fan arts, look for the term say so. Um, this will give you an insight on whether or not he or she is okay with um, this kind of content or not. Um, also, Gay and bisexual uh, avatars are all over the place. I've, I've literally encountered all kinds of uh, the LGBT, LGBTQ plus spectrum um, while I started um, joining this <laughs> this rabbit hole in this awesome community. So um, this is actually I, so far. I would say even maybe maybe most of the male avatars I've encountered were at least bisexual or or maybe even gay. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, or maybe it's also perception <laughs> because I've got like pink glasses on. 
<laughs> that's I might be guilty of that. I might be guilty of that. Um, however, interaction between the avatars has not been that common yet. And uh, however, I do think this might be changing anytime soon in the future. Uh, but it's just an estimate. <laughs> Is Fisky say so? Well, um, I mean, I mean, uh, among you guys, I think I can be, I can be honest and everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mostly say so. Definitely, like on on Twitter and on my Twitch streams, I uh, focus on wholesome content and positivity and cuteness and spreading cuteness. Um, but I mean, who? Name one boy out there who would not be happy to see, uh, not say so fan out of him. So, <laughs> well, so I guess uh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Um, but I will uh, uh, <laughs> try to keep <laughs> my at least my Twitter feed and my my streams uh, say so. Especially as I don't want to get bonked on Twitch. <laughs> Fisky is also basically giving a tutorial how to get shipped with him. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hi. I see, I see. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, this got, I got distracted there a little bit, but uh, yeah, this is an important uh, topic after all, and uh, kind of a fun one too. <laughs> kind of a fun one too. So, um, then again, I mean, collabs between VTubers are very, very common actually. So um, just just the other day, um, uh, maybe I can also show you this one. Um, I, for example, did a um, dating stream with another VTuber um, just last Saturday because um, I really like to uh, support boys love. I really, I, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't like a huge, huge Fudanshi myself. <laughs> so, um, um, so this is also some kind of content I personally want to want to promote and and do, and hence I kind of started doing it myself. But let's start at the beginning. Um, so the big interesting point about VTubing is that you now have a new dimension, um, which you can use to create content, interactive content to VTubing with streams or videos. Um, mostly if you are, for example. Uh, into voice love and if you are an artist you can create of course your artworks your um amazing um dojinchi or anything uh, however it might still be some form of linear content because uh, between the production of the content and maybe fan interaction um there will always be some kind of uh time in between um after all i mean maybe if you are very good at speed drawing this might be different <laughs> but um I do think VTubing might make this a lot easier, um, whereas you usually had to wait for another voice of anime to come out, and we all know this always takes like too long. <laughs> there, there are just not enough enough voice of animes out there, um, at least in my opinion. <laughs> um, so now you are actually able to create this kind of content yourself, which is absolutely amazing. First of all, you can become the anime boy or the anime girl of your dreams, or anything in between, of course. Uh, by yourself, so you have a new possibility um, coming up, um, and you can create content through streams or videos yourself. You can just as we are doing now, um, also focus on your chat and or your on your comments or section or anything to create the con content live on the go. So, for example, um, you can give your character a new dimension. You can be it. You can live him. To, you can bring him to life. So before that, you would have been able to do that through fan fiction, through artworks maybe. Um, but I would say it's still a bit of a linear content to some way, uh, some extent. And now we have the opportunity to bring it on the next level to instead of waiting for the next anime to come, come around, you can more or less and on a lower level, so to say, um, create a bit of anime style content yourself. <laughs> Might even be easier with 3D avatars. I personally am just a big fan of 2D, so uh, I might have my limitations. I cannot use my hands. I can only uh, wobble around and uh, use my face and guest sticks um, to communicate with you. Um, but of course, through the 3D, you might even have more opportunities. Maybe even 
in lewd regards. But let's not focus too much on that, right? <laughs> and by the way, also a big, big thanks goes out to all the nice compliments I'm, I'm reading in the chat. I'm, it's very appreciated and I love it very much. I love you all. <laughs> wobble, wobble. <laughs> I'm like a caterpillar, but I'm a cat boy. And um, also, I sometimes need to look down a bit. So that's, if I close my eyes like this, then this might be the reason because I'm doing it. <laughs> so, um, of course, one awesome aspect about the VTuner community is that there are so many amazing characters designs out there. Like, if you start going down the rabbit hole, you will encounter masses and masses of amazing designs where you will always go doki doki mm. <laughs> and you will i promise you you'll find so many designs for whatever kind of taste uh, you have um that you will love uh because there's so many vtubers out there by now and they are getting more and more and more so uh lots of amazing stuff to find out <laughs> lots of amazing stuff so what I personally find very interesting is that now the shipping opportunities are also possible through interaction with other VTubers. Of course, you can do it through Twitter, like in written form, so to say, like an extended role play. But you can actually also do it on stream, similar to uh, what um, Haruko, <laughs> Haruko and I did like a couple of days ago um, with our first VTuber dating stream. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of like an extended role play. And, uh, with a very, 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 very handsome fox boy, who has the softest and and most lovely voice all over on Twitch. I, I promise you that. Please uh, check him out, maybe later on as well. He's also active on Twitch right now. Maybe if you see him, please send him my best regards. He was a very good seamer. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can actually this way um, bring interaction on another level. You can. Um, live stream um, the interaction like we for example we went on a date we prepared different kinds of backgrounds and went to a, a theme park together and uh, later on to a park as well and had some kind of nice setting to be all boys love <laughs> boys lovely <laughs> together and um, you can even integrate the chat or like uh, your viewers into this which i find so interesting because it makes the whole experience so much more interactive. And I mean, if people in the chat have really cute, cute ideas, then you can directly integrate them in your content creation, in your live stream on the go. This is amazing. This is like a new level of interaction and content creation. And in the end of voice of content, um, which is so, so much more fan inclusive. Um, I, I like inclusivity, so <laughs> I like inclusion. So you have the possibility to create an interactive role play. And of course, you can also create a whole lore and world building out of it. I think this is something we can just, we are, where we are just at the beginning. But um, maybe one day we will have some kind of a extended boys love universe with several VTubers uh, um, consisting of it, uh, interacting together, love triangles. Um, <laughs> fun stuff going around. So I think this is very, very interesting. Most VTubers actually do have some kind of lore. Like my lore is rather, rather um, simple so far. I'm just a German cat boy working in a cat cafe. I have two little cute cats called Hunter and Mephisto. Um, I love cute outfits, cute clothes. By the way, of course, I can also change clothes like this. Boop. <laughs> ah, now you see me naked. You loot, you loot. <laughs> you see me undress. Ah, how shameful. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I, I love to have some, some fun here. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, but you did see me, see me kind of naked for a brief second. So, so, loot, loot. <laughs> Let's hope you're not getting bonked on Twitch. <laughs> um. So. But this kind of lore can still be extended and could be led into new kind of, uh, of world building, um, which I find very in interesting because now viewers can also participate in that. Of course, you can do it um, if you see yourself as an artist, as a VTuber artist, so to say, you can create 
this kind of artwork um, yourself, like your character, uh, your um, content concept, uh, but also the world um, building around you, the lore, the story you want to tell. Um, but you can also include the, the chat and your viewers and your fans directly into it. And this is a new level, I would say. It is, this is very in interesting. Of course, um, fan arts are also always part of the equation. Um, fan arts are, I guess, encouraged by most VTubers out there. I mean, but come on, who, who wouldn't love to have fan, of, uh, fan, fan arts of their own OCs? Any, any kind of artist, any kind of uh, creator of an OC would love that, right? So, um, how, but how can you do it? Now, I, I've talked about the concept side a bit. Let's maybe show you a bit um, how you can actually do it um, in stream. <laughs> so, let's uh, take this over here um, as a little sign to educate a little bit. By the way, this, these are potato cone and marshmallow chan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who kind of who kind of were um, my um, uh, <laughs> guinea pig, so to say, in our last stream about uh, how to become the perfect uke. <laughs> and uh, as we all know, if you want to become a perfect uke, you got to become marshmallow on the inside. You got to become very soft. And potato cone over here was a kind of our seme, our seme <laughs> in that regard. Um, wait, oh, let me show you. Let, but let me show you, uh, show you a bit on how we um, kind of created settings in um, the um, uh, VTuber role plays. So I usually kept it rather simple. Um, I used different kind of backgrounds, like let's say, um, for example, this theme park over here, um, and you kind of role play in front of it. You, you change the scene, you make it cozy, Make it maybe more romantic if you want to, <laughs> depending on how you like it. Um, wait, what's going on? Hmm. <laughs> A little glitch over there. Um, so in the end, uh, you can use these kind of simple technical details to create a setting and create a surrounding to actually yeah, bring your character to life, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, uh, one thing I also did before, before I actually was able to uh, date another VTuber, I uh, actually dated my chat once <laughs> because I kind of have the, I would say, well, I my, my biggest love interest, of course, is the chat. I love everyone in my chat, so um, I kind of get, get shipped mostly with, with my chat. So now I'm getting kind of shipped with you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, but even... Even that is possible. You can kind of do a um, visual novel kind of content um, where people, your viewers, can actually self-insert a little bit and uh, date an amazing seme or cute uke boy in front of them or a cute uke girl or a trans person, whatever you like. Again, there are no limits in VTubing um, and there's a lot to explore. So uh, no, no uh, limits there. Um, and one thing that came to my mind while creating this panel was that it's kind of a bit like interaction in, with the chat with um, like you would have in a boys' life cafe, for example. Let's say you create some kind of um, uh, visual novel style content um, and you can have the, and the chat decide on what your next move is or what you, what you will say on the next, next um, uh, scene, for example. A very good example I would like to give here, or because I also like to give credit to awesome people who already have uh, done similar things. Um, but let me find a picture where we don't get uh, bonked. Uh, oh, this over here is um, Akikun, who is an amazing Can and Canadian VTuber. And um, he also created, for example, um, visual novel-like uh, content. So the chat was kind of able to date him. And who wouldn't want to date this hottie, right? He's, he's adorable. He's, he's amazing. <gasps> Akikun. Daisuke des. <laughs> um, so this is really interesting. If you are into boys of cafes, like those that exist in, in Tokyo, this might be 
another route to go down and to explore. Um, and last but not least, VR chat is also a very interesting opportunity because, well, it has been around already uh, for quite a couple of years, but it also offers the opportunity to actually indulge and um, find out or to interact uh, as a VTuber uh, and your character uh, with other people and persons, um, even in a whole world together, which is quite exciting. We live in we live in very exciting times, I would say, <laughs> where we have lots of opportunities to uh, create new kind of content. And we are chat, if you know about it, um, is definitely also something I personally want to explore more in the next uh, next month. Um, I'm actually having. Uh, some VR chat models for Fisky uh, being made lately. Mm. <laughs> well, let me drink something quickly. I'm talking so much, I need to hydrate. Mm. <laughs> Fisky times all of Fujikon. That, but as I mean, okay, I would say it's all the other the other way around. So everyone is Fujikon x Fisky. <laughs> Stay hydrated, very important. Lick some water from the bowl. I, I will do that. Some delicious cat boy milk. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Can we can we use emotes in here? Yes. Let me put a zip emote in here. <laughs> Hi. Very true. So um, yeah, we are chat definitely a very very interesting opportunity as well to actually even indulge into an, a preset uh, 3D world and interact with other VTubers in there as well. <laughs> um, and some, some practical examples on how I um, used VTubing as a vehicle to create voice of themed content. So um, I mentioned before that I uh, lately did this this um, stream about um, how to become the perfect Uka. Uh, let me show it to you with uh, here, marshmallow kun or potato kun. <laughs> um, there was one way to go at it. Let me show it to you. Quickly, ah, here we go. That's the one. Fisky, <laughs> the format is called Fisky Sensei. So <laughs> I taught you to uh, how to become marshmallow, how to become a perfect uke, or even how to summon an uke. Um, not always, not always are those uh, advices um, in all seriousness. <laughs> Teach us the way of the uke. <laughs> Actually, the, the VOD is still all, uh, online on YouTube. So if you want to check it out, please uh, check out my YouTube channel. You can still find it. I upload everything there as well. Um, I already mentioned the um, dating streams, um, which I think is the most interesting way to um, actually create um, voice of content with other VTubers together, which is, I think, very, very interesting and uh, still at the beginning. So a lot more can be explored this way uh, and improved. Um, but I also, for example, did um, talk streams or gay talk streams with other uh, voice of creators, um, such as Lauvan Yasdavi. You might have heard of them before if you if you're already big boys of fans. Yeah, here we go. Um, there we did a uh, little talk stream together with uh, Lauvan Yasdavi, um, two amazing boys of uh, uh, illustration artists who are actually brothers and also both from Germany. So the world is very small over here. <laughs> So um, there's different kinds of contents you can do, and and, and if you're not not even like into too much into like creating uh, voice of yourself, you still can still talk about it or support it in any other way. So there's a lot to explore. Let me <laughs> let me also now check a bit more back on the on the chat and also switch the scene. Um, pop, 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 pop. Um, let's go back to the cat cafe, back to the cat cafe. I feel the most cozy in here anyways. <laughs> and if you're wondering, by the way, about the maid dress in the background, well, in our maid cafe, there's sometimes, uh, like once a month, an event where we, uh, we, uh, as a staff members as the, uh, from the cat cafe have to dress up in maid uniforms because it's very, very popular and, um, I was kind of strange at the beginning, but now I don't mind it anymore. I even, even enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I'm also a bit of a fanboy, so uh, I don't. I just don't mind wearing skirts. I think that's cute and 
boys are definitely also allowed to, to be rim, right? <laughs> so now, uh, before I <laughs> cut some boom, that's the boom, so true. Okay, I will now focus more a bit on the chat, uh, on your questions, about your remarks. Uh, please let me know what kind of, um, after you've heard about my take on um, the future of VTubing and um, in regards to birth of content, what is something that you would like to see or would you be interested in or what you think of um, would be plausible or what, where sometimes might even be some kind of uh, challenges ahead, some stuff that might be difficult to do. Um, please let me know in the chat. I will try to um, answer some, some questions that have been uh, skipped by myself. Shame on me, shame on me. Um, I don't want to skip your questions. <laughs> Can we see you in the maid outfit? Well, yes, actually, <laughs> it's possible. Like, um, I do have like those two outfits here as a um, um, for my live two D model. However, there's actually also a um, <laughs> picture of me in the um, maid outfit out there. Uh, let me quickly add it. Uh, where do we have it? Yeah. Here we go. And where is it now? Okay. It should be somewhere now. Let's see. Where did I... Where did I put it? Ah, oh no, it's too big. It's too big. <laughs> I don't want to move myself. Well, let's first of all. <laughs> okay, this is this is what happens if you do it live. <laughs> okay, let's 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 make this a bit smaller. Smaller. Yep. 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 Here you go. This kind of made outfit. <laughs> like we wear it for kind of uh, every time once a month when we do the. Maid Cafe topic uh, themed um, cat cafe day. Mm, it's very popular among the customers. And uh, <laughs> it was really a bit embarrassing at first, but but yeah, you kind of get used to it over time, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> ah, cute. Thank you. I like I like cute uniforms. And uh, like Sailor Fuku and Maid, Maid uniforms are kind of my favorite uh, styles of uh, being a fanboy. <laughs> I'm late uh, too. Um, did we talk about VTubers acting out BL? Um, yes, I did kind of mention it as we, um, for example, talked about VTuber dating streams, um, like the one I did with Haru uh, last week. Um, and I think there's more of that coming uh, soon in the next weeks and months. And probably I won't be the only one doing it. I think there will be more uh, VTubers in, uh, enjoying this kind of content. and. I honestly hope so. I honestly hope so. I think this would be a great addition. <laughs> and uh, I also think that it might be a very popular addition as well. So for now, um, there's that kind of the meme going around that that uh, uh, male VTubers might have it a bit more difficult than, than female VTubers. Um, I don't think that will even out over time, um, especially when uh, it gets more dominant in the uh, otaku community. Uh, so I think then this kind of content will find its, its niche and I I honestly welcome it a lot. A lot. I'm looking forward to this. I want to have a like extended universe about boys lovers, boys love uh, VTubers. This would be amazing. <laughs> and then Marvel get kind of uh, buys us all and then uh, we don't have much freedom anymore, but we will be able to do all the boys love content, our heart desires. 24-7. So I think that's that's fine. <laughs> Something that's just starting, but could see is a booming as a niche. That's true. That's true. I think there's a lot of potential in that. And also I just I would just want to see it. Like I love boys love. I love reading to Jinchi. I love reading manga. I love watching uh boys of anime and just imagining so many cute uh Ship, ships and possibilities from existing characters already, and VTubers have the have the opportunity 
to not only um, have the stuff um, happen in the imag imagination of the viewers, but to actually play it out as part of the character. And how amazing would that be, right? I mean, it's it's a huge chance, and I'm pretty sure it, it, will, it will be becoming a thing sooner or later. <laughs> so dark, yeah, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> See, Doc. Um, okay. Uh, Fisky should uh, try to do a Blizzard themed uh, stream with Sea Dog VA. Oh, I would love that. This would be fun. Uh, let me double check. I, I think I remember that, this name from somewhere. Um, let me let me double check. Ah, yes, yes, I remember him. He's a he's a um, um, voice actor, right, right. This would be absolutely amazing. By the way, actually, a lot of um, VTubers are also voice actors and vice versa, or many voice actors start off with VTubing, because I do think um, having a good voice really brings a lot to the um, uh, yeah uh, to the overall VTube experience. So that's amazing. And yes, I will definitely follow him. And uh, a uh, voice of collaboration with C-Dog, that would be absolutely amazing. I would, I would love that. <laughs> Hi. Um, not to worry, we'll upload this panel after the con. You missed it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, dear Fujikon stuff. Also, by the way, please, a huge shout out. A huge shout out to everyone who made Fujikon possible. Uh, I know how much work goes into uh, organizing a convention. So please, please, please give lots of love to the team behind Fujikon who have working have been working tirelessly over the past months to make this event possible. So please give them lots of love, lots of love. They deserve it. They created created a great event, and as a boys of fan, um, I I really appreciate it, especially about this kind of topic. <laughs> hmm. That's a big cat. <laughs> and yes, I'm German. I'm a German cat boy. You know, think cancel again, <laughs> but this, that's actually why I also post a bit in the uh, German uh, language uh, channel on Discord. <laughs> um, I think it would be fun to maybe do a group collab on a short story as your character, similar to the dating scenario. This would be amazing. Like fan fiction or, or short stories would be absolutely amazing. I think uh, maybe one day we will even have a uh, VTuber manga or Jinji coming out. I mean, we have a very famous uh, comic also called Mary Weather, who's also a VTuber since last year. So I do think that's a good good opportunity and possibility. I would personally love it. <laughs> uh, I saw that some comments by Okabir Neko has been deleted by, uh, but I did read one about uh, that he is also an Uka, which I really appreciate. We need to be cute together. <laughs> Can you give us a link to the VTubers you mentioned? Uh, of course. Um, first of all, let me quickly give you the link to Aki, maybe to his Twitter account. Um, I don't know if I can post links actually, but uh, if if I cannot post links here on on uh, Twitter uh, on Twitch, I will post them maybe later on in the. Um, see if I, if that works. Ah, perfect, perfect. Um, whoop. Uh, then I could also post them into the um, uh, Discord later on. I will, of course, also be later still online at the Discord uh, server and still open there for discussions and questions and ideas and projects, whatever you want to do. I will be happy to, to uh, yeah, chat with you about it. Yeah, I wrote yes in caps and a very nice <laughs> postulation. Hi, I'm I'm sorry, Uka, but no, no offense taken, no offense taken. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mary Weather. Um, uh, wait, let me check if he's he's not online right now. Um, he is a uh VTuber, but also a comic author. So I do think it would be would make a lot of sense for him to maybe um create comics of VTubers one day. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and he's also done that with um, Project Melody lately, I think. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I've got five minutes left, so I might, I might need to speed up uh, 
I was saying, you have a lovely voice. Thank you so much, uh, so much, Suki Sunshine. I hope my German accent is not too harsh. <laughs> Schmetterling. <laughs> yeah, and my socials are at the bottom. I'm online um, two to three times per week on, on Twitch here at Fisky07. Um, I upload all kinds of uh, videos and um, uh, have my stream archive and uh, highlight videos on, on my YouTube channel at Fisky VTuber. And my main communication channel is Twitter, where you can find me at Capital Cat Boy. Maybe one day I will uh, <laughs> put all this stuff together and make like one consistent username for everything. <laughs> I will try my best to do that. <laughs> I am worried that I skipped so many messages and so many, uh, many questions. So I'm really, really sorry if I skipped too many questions. I was actually uh, worried that. Uh, I uh, would have prepared not enough content to fill the hour, but in the end, it was once again the timing uh, that I did not <laughs> finish in time at all. So I love most ad things. I think German very nice. Thank you. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. That's freut mich sehr. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> so um, maybe let's use the last few minutes for a few more questions if you have any or like ideas, everything. Because if I uh, now check back on the older chat messages, messages, then I might uh, kind of um... ah yeah yeah. There was actually another question that I would like to uh, point out because I didn't get much into the technical style stuff. Uh, the roguish part I uh, wrote before. I find it crazy that this is pretty accessible with tools. Obviously, some are costly for what you want uh, may want, but you can try it out. Indeed, VTubing is actually, well, it can get expensive if you like uh, want to get your model being done by the Iron Vertex team, for example, who's kind of the prime guild for, <laughs> for um, uh, yeah, VTube avatars or 2D avatars. Um, then it can like cost several thousands of, of dollars or euros, but this is not the norm. This is like like uh, a normal a normal two um, D rigged avatar. I would say costs a couple of hundred euros or dollars, which is of course still a, a lot of money. But you can also create uh, free uh, avatars with Vroid. Um, those are usually uh, preset models, and you can customize them a little bit. And they are usually in three D, not in two D. But so you even have um, yeah, free possibilities uh, at hand as well to start out. Um, I would always advise not to like pay big bucks first and then maybe uh, start VTubing and maybe you find out that it's not what you wanted after all and you spend a lot of money on it. Try it out first, try out streaming first, and then you can still, um, yeah, expand your character, your assets piece by piece. Don't rush it too much. Just enjoy your ride and join our cozy, 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 cozy rabbit hole, right? <laughs> yeah, and indeed, if you're an artist yourself, also you can use uh, and learn life to do to, um, yeah, uh, get started and find a way. Last minute. <laughs> Win a date with the best cat boy. <laughs> Hi. I, I, would be, I would be down for that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm best cat boy though. There are many, many cat boys out there. I'm just a small, humble German one and a bit of a silly one. But I always love to meet like-minded people, especially if they um, yeah, are into boys' love or can, well, appreciate a cute boy or femboy or cat boy. Um, then you're all very welcome. I would love to chat with you further in Discord or maybe on Twitter. So um, <laughs> I would absolutely love to stay in contact. So as I might have to finish now, uh, I wish you still lots and lots and lots and lots of fun uh, at FujiCon. Let's keep on playing together. <laughs> I would love to see some of you guys later on as well. And I wish you a very pleasant afternoon. It's nighttime over here in Germany already. It's uh, almost half past 10. Um, but I really, really uh, enjoyed my time with you and hope to see many of you again very soon. Maybe in the next stream, maybe on Twitter. I would love to meet you all. <laughs> Stay cute, stay safe, stay lovely, and I wish you a very, 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 very good evening, and um, see you again very soon. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>